Okay, let's take a look at how RF scanner is used to scan for frequencies that your RF rig might be seeing. When RF scanner first starts up, it looks at your computer for any of the hardware devices that it might be able to use. In our case, we have a, a wind radio on our system, the Electrosonics VR, uh, and another device called the RF Explorer. We're going to select the uh, Electrosonics VR system uh, for this particular demonstration. Uh, the VR rig that I have has blocks 23, 24, and 26 in it. Uh, you can see that we find out that uh, the range that we could scan is 588 to 691. We could tell our scanner to use that full range, or we could make the range smaller by changing the start and end frequencies. We also have uh, the ability to view on the grid a certain range, so we could also change those numbers. Uh, we'll leave everything at the defaults for now. And then we are going to let the scan run for 10 minutes, hit the uh, scan button, and then you can see that it will go out and use the Electrosonics VR system to scan for all frequencies that it sees. Uh, in addition, any frequency that is above a certain threshold uh, in power that the antennas are picking up, in our case it's set to uh, minus uh, 60 dBm, if a value is above that particular range, the uh, program will create a CSV file and store it in the folder, in our case, Documents RF Guru 2 Scanner. And then we could take that data and import it into RF Guru, which will then mark those frequencies as uh, bad. And when you do your frequency coordination, uh, those frequencies will then be uh, ignored in your system. Uh, as the scan finishes up, you can see that I do have uh, a couple hits here above uh, minus 60 uh, dBm, which will then be saved in that file. And the scan will continue to repeat for the amount of time in your durations uh, and create that CSV file. You would probably want to run this at a performance time uh, during rehearsal so that you have a real sense of what frequencies may be coming into your place during performance. So that was a quick overview of what RF scanner is. And I'll go ahead and take this data and create another video to show you how to import it in RF Guru.